Hello and welcome to this overview of just some of the new features available in the 5.6 version of IFS Metrics Service Management. We will highlight four new user capabilities that illustrate how seemingly small changes in software functionality can enable you to fine-tune your processes and deliver better customer service. In a moment, Tom Bowe, Vice President of Research and Development, will demonstrate these new features for you, but first let me introduce them and the format for the rest of this video. Two of the features we have selected are for the field workforce and two relate to the back office. Firstly, and at the very beginning of the call management process, we have added Solution Search. This powerful knowledge management tool delivers all of your expertise right into the hands of the contact centre agent, precisely at their point of need. Quick and easy to use, it enables fast and accurate diagnosis. Maybe even avoids a technician dispatch by guiding the user through self-help steps to fix the problem for themselves. Secondly, we look at workflow wizards. This feature enables specific and repeatable processes designed to meet your exact needs to be executed by contact centre staff, ensuring both accuracy and efficiency, and overall speeding up the data entry task. We have not neglected the field workers in this release either, and we showcase the ability for a technician or engineer to raise a sales opportunity directly on their device. Many technicians resist the idea of being turned into salespeople, but they are very well placed to uncover opportunities on customer sites. Making it possible for them to do this as part of their normal working practice, and then refer referring it to a specialised sales team for action, removes that barrier. It's not always possible to have the right spare parts to hand to complete an on-site piece of work. In that situation, the technician needs a fast way to find out if the necessary parts are nearby and are available to be used. Our last feature highlighted in this video provides a real-time search of nearby inventory, ensuring the highest chance of a first-time fix and customer satisfaction. Lastly, we have added a segment that gives you a sneak peek at how a business analyst most likely one of your own staff, designs and build workflow wizards. The drag and drop approach guarantees you can react to business change in a timely way. It is the last part of this video, so feel free to skip it if you're only interested in the end user features. Over to you, Tom. As a customer service agent, when a call comes into the call center, I can enter the problem description based on the customer's information and then I can hit a button to see if there's any known solutions to resolve this particular issue. Now, solutions can really save a lot of time especially if I can eliminate the need to have a, dis have a technician go out and be dispatched on site. Each solution that is displayed, it's displayed in order of the most likely fit based on the information that I entered and I can see the solution content for example troubleshooting steps and it's very easy to read and understand um, and I also if I can drill down even further I can sometimes you have step-by-step -step instructions while the customer is on the phone I can walk them through an example and help them resolve this over the phone uh, in real time other information I have is comments related to this solution so I can see other people and how they felt the solution addressed their particular problem either good or bad comments and I can even drill down into that uh, history of those requests to get more information like what parts they used and who actually performed it so I can collaborate with my peers have access to solution notes and uh, solution attachments so solution attachments can be uh, pictures and schematics or instruction guides and manuals and I can just uh, click on that and have access to all of that information that uh, the company has in the knowledge repository. It also has a capability to display external links so I can look at Google search and see everything that the web has to to offer uh, related to this particular issue. So it really helps me and being a knowledgeable advocate for the customer it helps uh, you know certainly reduces the guesswork and improve the customer's confidence with all the information that I have in my hands and one of the other things I really like about it is that I can actually contribute to the company and to this knowledge repository by adding comments and then ranking that solution which is then used in future uh, evaluations of uh, solving customer problems
For customer support reps, the workflow wizard is convenient, fast, and easy to use. It guides me through an RMA call taking process and gives me cues like what is your first name and last name and I can enter that very quickly. If I detect the caller it prefers to speak in French as a bilingual, I can change that and the UI dynamically changes into that language. Using the keyboard, I can navigate very quickly using tab and enter keys and I can see if something's required. It'll show up in red and has different uh, color schemes so that uh, I know what needs to happen. And I can enter the address information. You can see at the top, actually the timer keeps track of call handling time and the, uh, the breadcrumbs at the top allow me to go back and forth to wherever I want at any place in time. I also like for phone numbers, I don't have to worry about the hyphens, I just have to get close and the pattern recognition will automatically form and update what I entered to, uh, to fit that. And sometimes I forget to add exactly everything and the system alerts me in this case. I missed an at sign on the email so I can put that in there to make sure that that is correct. There's little yellow pop-ups indicate giving me updates and interesting information and alerts. So I can enter naturally, I just enter the description of the problem that the customer is calling about and why they want to return a, a one of our products. If I spell something wrong, it has embedded spell checker. And then I can make a determination if an RMA is required or not. If it is, I go to the RMA screen. If it's not, it can take me somewhere else. So it has branching and triage. And here I basically see a standard screen right inside of the wizard. And I can enter the line. So, or more than one line. I can enter the return reasons, the items, quantity, and you know all that information that a normal screen uh, can do for me, but inside of the wizard. So I can add notes. And if the customer needs to call me back, I can put it in pause and then pick it up later. Or I can continue and wrap up the call. Uh, Pop-up tells me to don't forget to tell them the RMA number and the due date, even though it's also emailed to them. So wizards uh, give me everything that I need, and they're a great tool to increase quality, customer sat, and decrease data entry errors and costs. the engineer knows that he needs a certain part number but doesn't have it, they can try and find it themselves by tapping the find part icon. And then search for the part using the description, the part number, or you know, any part of that that they remember. And then select that particular part to search within a certain amount of radius. And then a map will be displayed of those locations. They can expand upon it and look where they are and where these where the part actually is in their proximity to their route. He can select uh, one of the locations that makes sense and call the technician to arrange a meetup so that the part can be transferred into their possession. The technician in the field can not only see all the job information and the customer information, but now they can also see alerts like SLAs for this job, contract expirations, and other PMs that are open for this customer. What's pretty nice is that now you can just click on a important information component and generate an opportunity that goes back to the sales rep for, in this case, a contract renewal. I can enter the revenue expected and then also put in additional notes using my voice. I talked directly to the customer today and they would like to get a quote this week on renewing for next year period. That's pretty cool, exclamation point.
Thank you, Tom, and thank you for your time and attention. That concludes the walkthrough of the selected user features. The final three minutes or so looks at the design and deployment of the workflow wizards and is a tiny bit technical. Hit the stop button now to escape. Thanks for sticking with us. I'll hand you back to Tom. As a business analyst, I can leverage the workflow designer screen to create wizards for users and simplify their jobs and automate business processes. A workflow is made up a sequence of steps and for each step you can ask a question like what is your first name? What is your last name? If you want to have a particular answer be required, you set the required flag. A step can be cancellation points beyond which a reason code is required. Things like phone and email, where you want to make sure that it's entered properly and, and captured correctly. I can specify where to store that particular data. So here's the table, and here's the column name, here's the control type that I want to display on the UI. And I can also specify a validation to execute when the data is entered. So this is managed as regular expressions, which are pretty standard and uh, pretty straightforward to understand. Now workflows can be created uh, on the fly and they can be done using a very simple drag and drop metaphor. So I can start with a blank container and then just drag and drop from my toolbox onto my workflow. And then for each step, I can associate a existing workflow, and that can save me a lot of time. For example, creating contact workflow, I just want to use that as my step number one. Step two, I'm going to go ahead and say create place. And then step three, I'm going to leverage my create RMA workflow. So I can reuse these things like Legos and piece them together to make a very, very creative uh, workflow that eliminates a lot of us user errors and, and uh, prevents any redundancy in creating the workflows from scratch. Now I also can do different kinds of steps. For example, I can have a screen step and all I need to do is specify the screen name and then in the workflow that's executed, the, the actual screen will be uh, displayed to the user in the workflow as, as part of the, uh, the wizard navigation. Once I have a workflow that I, that I like and that I feel is completed, then of course I want to do some uh, runs of that, uh, run through it and simulate that and make sure that I, uh, it works the way that I want it to. And once I'm happy with that, then I can go ahead and publish that. Workflows can be executed in a number of different ways. Uh, they can be just drop downs on the menu, for example, the RMA add workflow. Um, they can be associated to existing buttons, or I can create specific workflow buttons. I can execute them off of business rules that are triggered. And uh, this example, just from a workflow button, would be associating the workflow um, using the editor here, and I'm going to enter the workflow that we just created and then give it a name. New call script. So it's very uh, fluid and flexible, and I can save that pattern, and I can import and export it and share it with my peers.